Hello, friends. It's been a while. But you guys are probably wondering what's been what I've been doing, so I'm gonna show you because we're actually gonna play it today. It's a Final Fantasy 14, and this is the character that I've been playing on. Uh Eligos Windgem. Created a couple others, haven't really done anything for them. But what I thought about doing doing here is actually basically streaming the entire main story quest on stream. So that's gonna be kind of my, like my replacement. I'm gonna update the schedule. It's like these two days, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> the so the goal here is I'm gonna create a new character, start completely fresh. I kind of want to see a few things. So like, if I just focused on the main story quest and my class quests, will I ever have to do anything beyond that to, to level up to 80? 90 when Ed, Ed Walker comes out. Um, one thing, though, is they have boss ass uh, uh, things like. Uh, 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 cinematics definitely check them out check out the F final fantasy's uh youtube channel uh 14 final fantasy 14's xiv but we're gonna we're to do this we're gonna create a new character i'm not gonna lose an appearance here i'm gonna do the entire character creation so the races that they have here one doesn't really do anything in regards to how your character plays so there's no like special bonuses for being a hure which is a human the elves the elizen the lalafels the gnomes halflings the the mini people mikimate uh the the uh hybrid they're people with cat's eyes Cat's ears and cat's tail, and that's it. The Rogadin, which are just like the giant people. The Ara, which I think are kind of like tieflings, essentially. They get a little lizard detail, have a things. Hraskar. The Leonids, you could say. The lion people. And the Viera, the bunny girls. The only thing is, Viera's only female, Hrothgar is only male. I don't know why they did this. Uh, I actually don't see the point of this. For this one, I'm going to play Lothal. I, I've already kind of made a decision. I have I decided on a couple things. The name, and that it's going to be a Lothal. <laughs> It's three things, actually, and I already know what the starting class is. All right, so let me take a look at a couple things here to get an idea of what I might be wanting to, to go with here. Huh. I got crusties in my eye. From the flat landscape, the plains folk, because they have sub races, which I think it's just an appearance thing. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know why they even have sub, sub races. From the flat landscapes of the plain folks' homelands uh, are where the Lolafellan clan takes its name. Their distinct hair coloration and myriad of earthly, earthy and grassy tones makes them, helps them to blend in well with their environment. Acting as an effective camouflage against the would-be attackers, it was the similarity, it was the similarity of Lenosha's grassy fields to the, those of their homeland, which drew the first settlers to the island of Vilbrand, and what is now Limsa Lominsa. They are clever and opportunistic people, and crafty with their words. The generally accepted view of Plainsfolk is that they are a vibrant lot, with a penchant for excessive um, conversation. Dunes folk. What's the difference? Perhaps the most unique characteristic of the Dune folks is their luminous eyes. A result of a glossy protective layer which covers the pupil in the evolutionary response of their homeland's glaring sunlight. 
Many individuals wear a small traditional gemstone on their forehead, a symbol of their zodiacal, zodiacal sign. They are adamant among Stoicism, placing the advancement of knowledge before all else. Other races tend to perceive male Dunes folks as introverts who care more for books, business, and the prosperity of Ulda, a city-state built upon Dunes folk ingenuity, than the goings-on of the rest of the world. Hmm. I'm going to go plain smoke. It's a small close. Ah! Okay. All right. I have also determined that he's going to be as short as possible. So I got a Rogadin that's as tall as possible. He's going to be as short as possible. Complete opposite. All right. Here's kind of the cool thing is there's so many colors. <laughs> so my Rogadin is quite dark. I don't know if I should, should just so I could see this thing a little better. Do I want to go uh, as dark? I kind of like the maybe. Maybe I'll try to stick to the like grayish color. Let me check the environments might be able to help with the perception of the coloring. Actually, we're gonna be starting in Thalon. Yeah, I'm not seeing much difference between any of these. I wanted to make him like bleach white. Kind of like having a darker color. Eh, let's give him a little color. There we go. I'm gonna be able to see see like permanent stuff on him. All right, so we got the the skin color hairstyle. No. Uh, it just looks kind of silly. Look, this hairstyle, just no one ever use. It's bad. It's really bad. This is as close as bald as possible, but I don't want him to be bald. I'm kind of leaning towards this. Oh, this is not too bad. Oh, 
the mullet. Actually, this is kind of cool. I kind of like that. I'm going to go with that. Okay, I like this. I like this. I'm going with it. All right, face. No freckles. I want freckles. It's going to be a little lipper snapper. <sighs> Jaw types. This is always hard. Just because sometimes I can't tell the difference. <laughs> All right, so we got this. One, two, one, two, one, two. We barely tell the difference. It's just like right here. So two, three, two, a little puffier than the jawline. I think I like that. Eye shape. Again, this is probably one of the ones which has a whole bunch of subtle stuff. A little droopier. Your eyelashes. I kind of like this. Kind of the, the wider eyes. Irises, large or small. There really isn't much difference between the two. But we'll, we'll keep them anime and have large eyes sockets. I want to, I'm, I'm going to stick with a little bit of a theme here. Do blue eyes. Eyebrows. Here we go. Nose. I like that one. Mouth. I think that one will do. Lip color. I can't see any difference. There's like a line of color like right here. All right, ear shape. This is kind of the up ear, the middle ear, the the round kind of floppy ear. Oh, so this one that's kind of like about how pointed they are between those two. I think I'm going to go with the full point. Ear size. This guy's a small size. He's going to be 
be so short. This is long. It's going to be short. I have earrings. Oh, thought I'd be able to get like a beard. Well, that's fine. I'm just not going to worry about facial features. Well, tattoos. Do I have cheek tattoos or I got a thing? I can have a thing up there. I'm going to have a thing up there. And again, sticking with my uh, blue uh, or purple. I am going to actually copy what I have on my main character. Actually, hold on. Gonna be on this side though. I like that. We have our Lollafell. Confirm. Yes. I really don't know how this affects anything. So I'm just going to say the... Uh, 15th of the third emblem moon. Let's see here. What is your guardian god? I have my reasons. Long story. He's going to be a pugilist. I already decided this. This is a little monk outfit. We're going to put this on Di Diabolus because that's where all my other characters is. This uh, goes when small because he's little. So let's start. Let's see what happens here. And of course, I got a Q. But these Qs usually go pretty quickly.
You know, they usually say don't walk towards the light because it usually means you're dying. This is another matter altogether. Hey, hey, you. Y'all right, lad? You were moaning something fierce for a while there. Feeling the effects of the ether, I reckon. You'll get used to it, though, don't worry. You there, halt. What's this all about? Inspection. Then search the carriage. I'm just an honest peddler, friend, so don't be too disappointed if you don't find nothing. Mind your tongue, old man, lest I cut it out. So, look, Somnus. Honest peddler, was it? Since when do honest peddlers deal in prohibited herbs? You are in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rot in a dungeon till the end of days unless you can afford the fine. Ah, business as usual. Ah! Amulja! Amulja! Two arms! Two arms! Seven hells. Consider this a warning. Now go, all of you. Phew, that kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. Back, fancy bandits, they are only less honest. Thank the gods for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? Hey, seeing as you still got a long ride ahead, you mind keeping me company till we arrive? Them youngins don't much care for the conversation, see? Prince the name and peddlers me trade. And judging from your unusual garments, I'd wager you're one of them new adventurers. I know it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean, ain't no secret that adventurers are risky business, these days especially. Or was it that it first attracted you to it? Um, don't worry. Glory, eh? Well, if it, if you're willing to take on them risk as some other folk ain't, an adventurer such as yourself can win fame that what coin can't buy. When you arrive in town, you'll want to report to the Adventurers Guild. You can find out everything you need to know about the venturing business in there. 
center myself. Just remember, though, that the there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's that. By the by, if this is your first trip to Ulda, yes. It is. Well then, with this journey, journeyed itiner it, itinerant, uh, tell you that tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Uldah is ruled by the Sultana name, but as most most folk know, the Syndicate holds all the real plot power. Them and their monstrous cronies would happily get rid of her grace altogether, but that wouldn't wouldn't happen till she still commands the loyalty of the royalists. The royalists are nothing if not loyal. These factions have long fought over power, throwing the weight of their wealth against each other, and they show no signs of stopping. Close to limited men, that's the Amalja, couldn't, t couldn't care less about old on politics. They have their own interests, and they ain't afraid to use force to serve them. They say war is a gift to peddlers. Need breeding profit? And need breeding profit. And although it shames me to say it, I'm inclined to agree. Ah, at last. Behold, Ulda, jewel of Thadalin, where folk turn sand into gold. And here's where we part ways, lad. I'm off to the markets to deliver new airs, and then I'm on to the home high road for me. Here, I want you to have this, by way of thanks for putting up with me prattle. You never did tell me your name, though. Hey, but here, here's an idea. Because of the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll I'll consider you a square. Well, adventurer, over here. Ah, yeah, I mean you. Fresh off the carriage by any chance, eh? 
How can I tell, eh? Names Wyman, and my business is knowing every bugger else's. Now then, what if I offer you some invaluable advice by way of welcome to a fair city? Free of charge, even. Just this once. Like. All right. Welcome to Adal, the shining da, the uh, shining uh, beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Thetalin. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. I'm using keyboard and mouse. Follow the instructions to move your character and adjust the position of, of the camera. When you are ready to proceed, speak to Wyman. Okay. So, I'm going to do some quick character configurations here. Just, just... To get things so uh let's see uh display name settings i'm going to use minimize pcs If I do show default, it shows everything. Okay, so I'm going to have to minimize my own. I'm going to use minimize and go here. Uh, that should be fine. Ways. Inventory interface, I want to expand it.
All right, we're not going to worry about the hot bars right now. We'll, we'll, we'll deal that when it gets. Actually, I do want to do it. All right, so I'm going to actually set this up how I have it on my main character. So I have four hot bars. They're all in sets of four by three. Move these around. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It's not, it's not the four by three. Here. That's what I want. I want this one. It is the six by two, I think. Yeah, I have the six by two. Okay. That's what it is. There's a method to my madness. So let's get these lower. Going to set up my keybinds. So this is actually going to be this. This is actually going to be shift one. I'm going to set this to R. And we'll do that for now. OK. So speak to what I meant to start. 
To be recognized as adventurer in the city state of Ulda, you must register yourself as the uh, at the with the Adventurers Guild. It's plain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you'll certainly get mugged or worse, and I don't want that on my conscience. So, before you do anything, you may want to head into the quicksand and speak with Momodi. She is the master of the Adventurers Guild and can set you on the right path. Just take those steps over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventuring adventurer. You have become a quest. Use the duty list to, to help you complete your task. Things are phased out. Why, hello there. Who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you come to the right place. Name's Mamodi, and I own this fine establishment, if it please you. I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Ulda, so you might say that I'm looking after, after green adventurers like yourself is my vocation. And lucky for you that it is, without anyone le like me to steer you on. You're right, you'll soon find yourself in the middle of nowhere, caught in business you don't understand. Like our conflict with the Amalsha, for example. They've been plaguing the Sultanate for Nyan, oh, forever now. Then there's the Garlean Empire. None can say for sure, sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. I, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's worry. Worry and lingering feeling of loss. And like, and little wonder, it's scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into an eighth hell. So much has lost in the blink of an eye, it was like the end of the world has come at last. But then things begin to get foggy. Everyone's got their own version of what's happened next. Some of them, two or three. You'd think people would remember something like that, but the fact is, they don't. Nobody does. There's one thing the survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they never returned. Deeds worth remembering, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame in our recollections these brave heroes are as jumbled as those of the Calamity itself. Whenever you try to call your, their call their faces to mind, it's like you're standing between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'll bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if you can't remember them, we will not let them be forgotten. And so we call them the Warriors of Light. And they'll forever stand as a shining example of what venturers can achieve. That's why I welcome new rivals like yourself to our fair city. All I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to leave Ulda in a better place than you find her. If you can promise that, I'll be happy to let you join the guild. Right then. Promise is a promise now. I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. We'll need people working and spending and bickering like the old days. And happy, prosperous old Don means more business for the quicksand, too. 
any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the ledger, neat as you can. Estagos Winsmall. Well, ain't that a charming name. Just rolls off the tongue, it does. All right, Mr. Winsmall, on behalf of the West Ventures Guild, I officially... Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve as as my witness. I swear to you, I bring you the money. And this is said that even a merciful god must be driven to vengeance of thrice blasphemed. Be grateful you have given a fourth chance to offend. You two attend to this scum. No, please, mercy. Well, ain't that a sorry sight. You're an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Just the same, if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you stub a bloody toe, all right? Of course, I do enjoy hearing all of the gentlemen's woes with the women folk from time to time. Any road, welcome to a door, as a ghost. Take a moment to catch your breath and I'll teach you a little about our fair city. Yes, we are in tutorial mode. I have Gil. This concludes the introductory game tutorial. You have taken the first steps as an adventurer in the city of Ulda. Listen well to the wisdom of Modi Modi. Then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Level one! Or level two! Modi, the proprietor of the quicksand, uh, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Before you go off, uh, off to, charging off to find your fortune, I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform so as to help you get to know the place. First of all, I want you to visit the Aetherite Plaza. To get here, head west from here till you reach Emerald Avenue, then look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called an Aetherite. If it weren't for Aetherites, traveling around Erosia would be damn sight more troublesome than it is. Of course, you will still need to attune with them before you can use them, so be sure to do that with the one in the plaza. You ever tuned to an Aetherite before, Essegos? If not, just lay your hand on the thing and you'll see what what I mean. When you're done, I want you to visit, pay a visit to the Pugilist Guild over at the Platinum Mirage. Assuming those weapons of yours ain't just for show, you might consider training there. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange over on, on the steps of Thal. Goods from all over Rosia and beyond turn up there every day. You'll have no trouble finding armor, armor weapons, and everything else a fledgling adventurer like yourself might need. You might say that everything's for sale here in Elda, as long as you've got the gale. Just make sure that you can't, don't pay more than you ought. This goes. There's plenty as, as want scrupled. There's plenty as won't scruple to swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself, especially if you think no one's looking out for their best interests. Which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Ciceroga and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he's read it. In short, then, visit the Aetherite Plaza, the Pugilist Guild, and the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Simple. Oh, and before you go, order of advice. While there's more than a few unsavory characters out there who would like to take advantage of you, there are also some with honest-to-goodness problems who would consider offering a helping hand to you. A lot of folk are lured to the city by the promise of wealth and power. What many of them fail to realize is that instead of chasing after Gale the moment they get here, they ought to be making friends. Let it be known that you're willing to give up as much as you can get, and opportunities will come your way. Speaking of which, you should speak with the smith over yonder. 
those lads always have some good advice on, for upcoming adventures. Otherwise, that's about it for me. It's past time you got going. Oh, and let me know when you're finished, will you? That way I won't uh, spend my days worrying that you're down down to your small clothes without a guilt to your name. All right, so what do we got? Tune yourself to the eighth right, pugilist guild, and listen to Cicero's explanation of markets. Okay, well, first off, we have the front. You now have access to the Aethernet. Quickly travel throughout the city can be achieved by simply placing your hand upon Aetherite shards. Hold on a second, we're social. Oh, and you are oh, a newly come adventurer, of course. Yes, I'm Ciceroga. What can I do for you? Ah, you would have me teach you the ways of the marketplace. Very wise. As for my feet, what you expect me to do for free is surely you jest. My dear adventurer, when you ask an old don for a favor, you should at least try to make it worth his while. Judging from your garb, I'd rather doubt that you would afford I doubt you could afford my services, but the fact that you off offer nothing is laughable. Oh, Mistress Mamodi instructed you to seek me out, did she? Consider yourself fortunate to have such influential friends. I shall be brief, and you shall be attentive. You stand in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultanate. Being advantageously situated in the relation of other city-states, Uldaz markets has ever served as both the literal and figurative centers of Erosian commerce. All of the great overland trade routes lead to your city and the majority of maritime trade between Vilbrand and Adon Adonard. Aldenard passes through our ports. Because of this, this count those companies in consortia have chosen Ulda as their base of operations. They see to it that this marketplace is awash with merchants and money lenders day and night. Anything a man could ever desire can be purchased here, provided as he has sufficient funds. Surely there's something you seek, adventurer. A deadly sword, perhaps, or a shiny trinket. Whatever it is you want, the exchange will have. To the north, you'll find merchants peddling armor and accessories, curatives, and crafting materials. And to the south, you'll find weapons, tools, and assortment of other useful items for sale. Seek out a particular merchant or browse to your heart's content, but do so to remain aloof. But do try to remain aloof should you find something that piques your interest. Decisions made in the heat of the moment are usually unwise, especially when coin is concerned. 
that is all the ex uh, the complimentary aid you show have for me, and far too much for my taste. My regards to Mamodi. Now off with you. Now, here's my goal right at the current moment. I need a bigger map. Uh, is while I'm doing this initial quest, because the goal here is to focus on class quests and main scenario, none of the side quests. None of them. No special unlocks or anything else. I'm doing another key bind here. Uh, chat. Let me just say this. This whole like temporary change bullshit. Ah, where was I? Nope, went too far. So I want to make sure that I can uh, easily tra uh, transport around the city. So one of the first things to do is to grab all these Aetherite shards. Okay, I uh, realized I need another key bind. I kind of wish this would just like copy from characters, but you know, of course they're not going to do that. Uh, here we are. Oh, no, I don't want to go here.
want to go back downstairs, but I think it would be faster if I just used the teleport. Back to Goldsmith. Actually, I think easier is just to go this way. You have attuned yourself to all the Aetherite shards in Uda, the Gate of Null, the Gate of Sol, and the Gate of the Sultana, and the airship landing are now accessible as Aetherite destinations. It has to pop up all these things before it will let me... But... I'm going to, before I go to the Pugilist Guild, which will start me on my first class quest. I'm going to tune to the, is it the big old Etherite pistol. Hail, adventurer! Might you have come on the behest of Miss Mo Momodi of the Quicksand? Excellent, which brings us to the matter of the attunement fee, which will be 100,000 gil, if you please, sir. Ah, ha, ha, apologies, but I do so relish the opportunity to make that jest. The look in your face was absolutely priceless, uh, but the fact that you are so easily deceived suggests to me that you are unfamiliar with the use of aetherites. Allow me to explain. These crystalline agglomerations <laughs> tap into ethereal energies and are primarily used as a means of travel swiftly from one place to another. Perchance you have heard of the return and teleport? Of return and teleport? Well, these transportation spells uh, make direct use of the aetherites and their connection to the flow of ether. Given that there is an aetherite in almost every corner of Erosia, any adventurer with a mind to explore their own will wish to seek out and attune himself to each and every one. But even if you're of no intention of wandering beyond the Sultanate's borders, it would be prudent for you to attune yourself to any aetherites you encounter from now on. I pray you found that informative should you wish to learn more about aetherites or teleportation or transportation magic. I should be happy to answer your questions. Return learned. You tune with the Aetherite. You are now able to use the return spell. Now for the Pugilist Guild. I'm going to punch things to death. Oh, over here. Guild receptions. 
Greetings and welcome to the Pugilist Guild. I see you already walked the path of the Pugilist, yet your journey has only just begun. Just highly recommend that you add your name to our wool, for there is no better place in all the realm to train in our discipline than you. The origins of Pugilism are, as we know it, have been traced back to the staging of barehanded bouts at the Colosseum. These contests attracted f fighters from afar and wide, bringing their myriad of styles crashing together on the blood sands. Amidst this chaotic intermingling of style, there rose a pugilist of singular strength and skill. This woman made it her life's mission to master every form she encountered, and that she might refine her art. Among her many song-worthy exploits, we pugilists remember her participating in gladiatorial tournament most fondly, back when barehanded fighting was still seen as a pastime for peasants. She took on fully armed and armored gladiators and effortlessly bested the lot of them. Order of their feet spread across the realm like wildfire, of course, and Ulda swiftly transformed into the center of pugilism, with people flocking from all over to train under his master among masters. The woman's name was Cornelia, and it is her that the pugilist guild owes its existence. The art the practice here is based on her all-encompassing style, and this training hall is modeled upon the one which she once built. And there it is, a brief history of our guild. I've told this tale a thousand times, but God, it never fails to fan the flames of my fighting spirit. Now then, should you wish to proceed with enrollment, you must first obtain the guildmaster's approval. Let me know if you would like to meet him. Yes, I would like to meet him. So, are you ready to present yourself to the Guildmaster's inspection? Master Heyman is, again, among the greatest pugilists of our, our time. For long years, the man ruled the blood sands as the Holy Fist, though he has once since retired in favor of training aspiring fighters. You will find him overseeing his charges yonder. Go now and show him the fighting spirit that burns within you. Ah, past time you got your ass back here. Well, what did the dancer have to say about my proposition? Yeah. Hey, you're not my errand boy. There's no dancer. There never was. It's not something, anything incidents. I swear to God. But you're here to enroll. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Sooner? In my capacity as guildmaster, I'd be glad to give you a primer in the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Doubtless you already know this, but we pugilists fight with our fists and feet. While those don't deal as much damage as a blade, it hardly matters when you land several bl blows for each swing of the sword. When we lack in destructive force, we make we're more than make up in speed and cunning. Under my guidance, not only will you master striking techniques... Also learn to sting them, to string them together to near an endless flurry of blows. Only through such furious combinations as a pugilist realize its potential. Yar. <laughs> Cranky, I've spent uh, spent from all this talking. You ought to speak speak more, son. I'd give you a chance to catch your catch my breath. But where was I? Ah, join the guild. Before you do so, I must warn you that the path of the pugilist is long and arduous. Do you believe you got what it takes to dis go to the distance? Be honest with yourself now. Yes, you have fighting spirit. I can see it in your eyes. I have no reason to deny you a place in these halls. Welcome to the guild, son. For your first lesson, I want you to test your fledgling skill against the vermin of Thedalin. Get out there and put down three marmots, three hornets, and three shrews. Turn here when the deed is done. So... Here's the rules of my adventure here is 
I, I, I might have mentioned this before. I totally forgot. It's been a while. Is well, I'm definitely still going to accept health. The only quests that I'm going on are my class quests and the main scenario quests. That's it. And any side quests that requ that are required in order to continue the main scenario. There is a section later on where that happens. Uh, so I just want to make sure that it is. Uh, focus on travel, too, is making sure I have access to all traveling. So um, while focused on the main scenario quests, I will also, later on, I have to do things in order to get flying and the mounts and stuff like that. I will get those. And also Chocobo Companion, make sure you get that. Since I already have a character that's higher level, this kind of gives me an idea of, of some things. Uh, also, is there a delivery move going around? Hold on a second. I have not learned teleport yet. Actually, I need to do class quests first. He's taller than me. That's okay. I mean, mine short. That's one of my friends. One more night. I like the dram dramaticism of level up. Actually, let me just go ahead and use return. Ah, you're back. And none the worse for the exertion. Youthful vigor are truly blessed things. You have gotten off to a fine start, son. To help you on your way, I want you to ha 
have this hunting log. Within it, you'll find the names of various creatures, opponents that you might hone your skills against. If you want to become strong, you must, mustn't neglect your training. Indeed, a pugilist is only as good as the number of strikes he's dealt. Get on with it, Essigos, and let your fist fly. When the time is ripe, I'll teach you something new. When there's no limit to the pr potential of the youth, I look forward to seeing you become into your own. And I get some food also, which comes with an XP bonus. Actually, I'm going to... Ooh, I'm in, uh, need some of that food. Two of those that give me 60... Uh, um, I'll put the hunting log in here. Hunting log will come in handy if I need some extra XP for something. Also, it gives me guilt, so. Venture's Guild. He's still here because he's AFK or something. Okay. Not exactly sure. How was your tour of the city, Esagos? Get lost, did you? Ah, uh, well, Obo's a big place with lots of, to see and do, but wandering around aimlessly don't pay the bills. If you're serious about making a living, you'll need to remember where things are. So, when you go exploring, explore like you've got a purpose, see? All right, then. All that's left for you is to work hard, make money, and spend it here at the quicksand. Do, 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 all right. Must rebuild. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I need to get to level four. <laughs> All right. So, which means I can open up uh, my hunting log and actually start work on some of these. What is this? Is it not going? Is that where I want to go? Yay! I got my combos going. All right, then I'm level four. So this is what I'm going to use to kind of fill in XP. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's still hanging out there. All right, before I continue with the main scenario quest, I'm going to use the bathroom and refresh our beverage. This is a good little time for a break. Be right back. All right. I'm just looking at some settings things. Continue must rebuild. Muddy of the quicksand wants to introduce you to a certain someone at the old uh, dispatch yard. Well, young lean, how are you finding our final da then? Got your bearings about you yet? If so, mayhap it's time you ventured toward the, beyond the city walls. The bustling streets of Volda are one thing, but the wilds of Thanalin, that's another altogether. I know a bloke you might fancy speaking to, and he you, name of Papashan. You'll find him over at the old dog dispatch yard. No doubt he'll have some work for you. The dispatch yard's over in central Thanalin. Just head out the door across the hall, and you'll see the gates of Nald staring right back at you. 
pass through it and head east. You'll come upon it a furlong. There's a da- there's dangers beyond the wall, though. More than I care to count. Nothing too terrible, mind you, but feisty enough to attack if you draw near. Don't say nobody cared enough to warn you. While I'm going along, if I run into anything that's on my hunting log, I'm just going to kill it. <laughs> like this snapping true. Uh, oops, I need four of them. Oh, you certainly looked a part of an adventure, my friend. Might you be the good soul my body advised to expect me expect? I am Papa Shaw, the station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I truly am no more than a tired old little fellow to, uh, passing his final years in quiet and solitude. Dude. Twelve, no, there have been plenty of both these last five years since the calamity struck. The devastation was vast. Yet now, true old dons work together, doing all of our power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt Uldar to the grandeur and majesty that you see today. The railways which run through this dispatch yard, too, are born of noble efforts of great many souls. But there is still much work to be done. The wounds left by the calamity run deep, isolated the areas beyond our lines of supply remain. There are places yet wanting for relief and restoration. Uldar needs the aid of you and your brother and friend. In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point, I suppose. I do believe I have some work suited for one of your ability. I'm assuming that I'm going to ding with this, but, you know, uh, yeah. In fact, the total XP is the equivalent of level four. And then some. Um, I want to go with this. Yay! Let's put on some new pants. Station Master Papa Sean has a simple task for a fledgling adventurer. Since you've come all this way, perhaps you can perform an errand for me. It just so happens the number of centuries have been sent to guard the area, a dispatch to the dispatch yard, as it were. They have been long been away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The hot days and cold nights may, can play hells in the mind and body out there. Yeah. It isn't much, but go and give them these uh, twilight pretzels. Would you uh, find comfort food always helps when I feel like feel like killing myself? It's the front clear, Easter front clear. For me, from Papa Sean? A Twilight Pretzel, my favorite. How did he know? Can't find an empty stomach now, can I? Actually, I can't find in any stomach. I suppose you could say I have no stomach for fighting. <sighs>
Halt, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to put the pretzel on the ground and place your hands above your head. State your name and business. The Twilight Pepple, a pretzel from Papashan. By the gods, forgive me, you should say this new post has my nerves in a twist. I'm terribly sorry for that. Um, yes, well, you may rest assured that the dispatch yard is safe so long as I stand watch. Please tell Papa Sean my thanks and tell him that I only wish that I could repay you the favor. Well, save me. Scorchy days, freezy nights. This post will be the end of me. A twilight pretzel? Don't mind if I do. Ah, now that's a refreshing god's damned pretzel. I feel reborn. We returned with a great deal of fewer pretzels, I see. Tell me, how far are certain Sorin's sentries? Did they have anything to report? Anything at all? What? Nothing? Are you sure? I... Oh, oh dear. Take this for your troubles and stay a moment. There's more I would have asked of you. Looks like that gladiator arm, the pleasures thing. It's basically all the starting class of the area. I suppose I would have this moment. No, no, the time of concealment has passed. The truth is, even before I had had you deliver those pretzels, I was privy to some most unsettling news, which is the real reason I sent you to meet the Sultan Swan. A young noblewoman with a very prestigious family has run away from home, and I have been ordered to see you to a safe return. The Sultan is sworn you, you met earlier are assisting with the search. Alas, it seems that they have found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you from the start, but we must proceed with caution. Should word of her disappearance spread, I fear others with the less honorable motives may join the hunt. And should you allow her to come to any harm, we allow her to come any harm, or even a hundred beheadings would be a punishment. Not even a hundred beheadings would be punishment now. That cannot happen, Essigos. It must not. I need you to help me find her. Praise the Twelve, I knew I could count on you. I have instructed the others to expand the search, but Thanalyn is vast and there is only so many of us. The young noblewoman's name is Lady Lilira. I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Sultan Dream. Good luck. This little sparkly thing means what's referred to as a duty. Oh, Sultan Tree. 
You are about to enter an instant battle. Instant battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help window before answering the call of duty. That's okay, I already know this. Some of other things. Underneath the Sultan Tree. Yay.
To return to Papa Sean. Yeah, it's always these starting quests for everything is just slow. Mainly because you can't get from here to there very quickly. Ooh, I could jump up there. Nice. Thank the gods you returned. We have all but worried. We do realize what would happen if people of your noble stature were to be injured or worse. Why, her grace of Sultana would be beside herself with grief, and, you, and so would her subjects. I dare say they'd be weeping in the streets. But I have already given my cause to... Given you cause to weep, Papa Sean. You and the people of Uldar. Please, you're, you're not to say such things. You will find it, I swear to you. It's not my place to make the bans, my lady. But I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologize for causing you undue worry, Papa Sean. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in the future. I cannot thank you enough, Asagos. I understand you fought to bravely protect uh, Lady Lyra from Zoif and fiends. For your galleon service, you deserve all the riches in the royal vault. Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best that I can offer. Hmm, a sarcastic man with a strange contraption stretched to his shoulder? I see you met Thancred. He is a scholar who f spends his day investigating oddities in the ether. Uh, rather too fond of the sound of his own voice for my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, Resigos, you're just the sort of adventure we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness of the people of Thanalan as you did to us before today. Step nine. Cecilia, Cecilia, Doa, whatever, needs a reliable adventure to deliver the gift to the coffer, uh, the coffer and coffin. You're an adventure, yes. If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I've resolved, uh, resolved to repay a debt of gratitude which I owe to the owner of the coffer and coffin. For this purpose, I'm. I've purchased for the royal plantations a, pres a prestigiously plump pumpkin, a particularly popular piece of produce. Alas, I cannot port this place to procure and pra pra for the pumpkin. You see, the schedule of shipment from the Nanawan mines from which I, I await is late. I would prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the coffin and coffin, or coffin and coffin. Present this receipt of purchase to Gagari at the Royal Plantations, and she will yield it, yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend to this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. All right, before I do that, I'm going to hit return and do my class quest that I was supposed to have at level 5, and I'm currently at level 6, almost level 7.
Guildmaster Heyman wishes you to learn the basics of combinations. You've been training hard, I suppose. I, I can tell by the lightness of your steps and the strength of your fists. I reckon you're ready for your next lesson. But before you begin, some warming up in order. order. For this, I've scattered some gill across Ulda. I want you to run around the city and pick it all up. Now, that's my money lying out there, so I want you to, to do about it and like there's an emulsion or band on your heels. In other words, I want you to sprint. Of course, you can't go on sprinting indefinitely. Your body needs to rest a while before each burst of speed. This may sound elementary, but it's, I'm telling you this is dem to demonstrate a point. As a pugilist, it's essential that you learn to pace yourself in a fight, else you're liable to get worn out. And when that happens, the fight's as good as over, and you'll be sorry if you had bet on yourself. All right, first off. Okay, where, where is all this? There it is. Is it truly in the thermometer? Did it's been a while since I've done this quest. <laughs> There it is. Here it is. That's my money lie out there, son. I thank you to hurry and pick it up. Well, yeah, I got it. 500 gil? Crikey. That's good for a week's worth of... Um, I mean, 
<laughs> well, well done, Eskos. Now we're all warmed up. We can see to our lesson, a trial to be precise. Take yourself to Scorpion Crossing, Western Thanalan. There you'll find four large stones, the trial stones, they're called. I want you to deal each of those a solid bookshine combo. The impact will rouse the earth spirits that de- that sleep within, and which you must then defeat. If you find yourself uh, hard pressed, there's no shame in running away. I'm still learning the ropes, after all. Once you've gotten your wind back, you can hurl yourself into the fray again. And remember this: strikes bring down opponents, and that's and that's your footwork that keeps you standing. Now off you go, as it goes, and good work. Oh, hey, Cactar. There you are. Back to the Bugil Guild. I'll be eating as much food as possible during this entire time. Just to kind of make sure. Also, being in the guild or being in a free company, I get buffs, I think. I think you're getting those buffs. I'm not getting the tooltip for some reason. Probably one of the things that I didn't I unchecked or something. <sighs> Thank you. 
So you've given the earth sprites what for? Well done, Nessa Ghost. By smiting stone and earth, you forged unwielding weapons of your fists. You're an nigh endless font of vigor, essence. I just like myself in my younger days. This must be the promising recruit you've been telling me about. Well, of course he's promising. He's training under Hamu Holy Fist. He he, that's our master Haman. A moon, I suppose. Now that you put it that way. As it goes, I don't believe I've introduced my assistant. This is Chuchito. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. As as introduced, I serve as Master Heyman's right hand, though there's still much, more, much and more I have yet to learn. Together, let us strive for mastery of our art. Chichido uh, joined the guild soon after I had become its master. She's my very first student, as a matter of fact. Well, there was one other to be sure, but... Let's not dwell on the past, Master. It was Essica's bright future we are discussing. Which reminds me, did you collect my gill from him? My gear is rather worn down, and I do need the money for repairs. Uh, <clears throat> yes, that's the future with us is bright indeed. If he keeps up his efforts, he may well become the next Holy Fist. Train hard, young one, and grow strong. When the time's ripe, I'll have another little lesson for you. Ha ha ha! Alright, let's see here. Eye patch success. I don't have anything in my head right now, so I'm also going to hide it. <laughs> quick little. Hang on, cute. I'm going to do something quickly here. Where was I? Step nine. I need to go do a thing. Gate of Nald. I want to make sure I don't do the gates, gates of Thald. I might have to log or a bone. I think that might be a, a way. 
If the Sitta doesn't come, come calling soon, the spectacular specimen shall sadly be past its prime. Oh, so you're delivering the, the decadent of life. We shall have the confidence that Eddie Gorman would be grateful for such a grand, grand, grand gift. Here's the pumpkin. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. Fresh produce is something scarce in these parts, and as such, we have always deluged with demand. You know the way of the coffin and the coffer, correct? It is beyond the bridge in the northwest. Look for a place where local laborers lounge. Hey, guess what? Hunting log thing. Nothing like bonus XP. Oh, okay. Apparently, What's next on the list? Nesting buttered. I went past where I need to go, but I'm doing this quickly. There we go. I just needed to do that. Also, that means I can do this. So I'm part of a free company already because my normal character is part of a free company. Plus, also it has a delivery mogul. Also, my connection gets lost because that's what it does. It's a problem we've had, which I haven't been figuring out why it's doing it, so... But we'll get there.
There we are. Much better. YouTube it says there. I'm collecting uh, awards stuff. All right, we're going can use it now but it's there also uh, while I'm at it welcome to to our uh, free company state fact I have my own chambers So how do I have all this on a level seven uh, uh, pugil pugilist that I just started? Simply because I have a, uh, a level 60 something uh, pugilist, actually. Uh... It's a nice, simple room, very sea based. All right, so back to, to what I was doing. I need to go to. Oh, shit. I don't have enough gill. So this is probably not the greatest fight, yes, but hey, whatever.
So focus on the questing. Oh. Epud. Drink for you, laddie. You won't get better ale or spirits for your coin than at me place. What's that? Mrs. Soda uh, asked you to bring this to me? Ha! Huh. Yeah, so even a foul mouthed drunk knows the meaning of remorse. I got this to me in front of the time I carried his drunk son and arse back home. Mahel's an honest against pumpkin from the royal plantations. I can't wait to see what the cooks will do with her. Lads here scoff down beastly amounts of meat and I'm telling to talk, starting to tell them the health. It's good to see, get more vegetables in their bellies. Assuming I can get the stubborn bastards to t try something new. Thanks for the help, laddie. Now we get a roll action, which is second wind. We will put that here for now. Roger, uh, here's all sorts of information in his line of work. Where does Blackbush Station sorely, uh, sorely undermanned? The stone torches there can't get a moment's peace. A bloke by the name of Warren is hoping to bolster their numbers in a short-term assignment to do. If you're fancy pulling a few extra gill in your pocket, you should do a lot worse. Let me actually check my gear. My gear is fine. Okay. Can't run them out until I get my chocobo. Company chocobo. Looking for work per chance, if so, you could have come at a better time. Uh, we stone torches that are cell swords hired by a Magina and Sons mineral concern to protect their interests. Our primary duty here is to keep the tracks clear of pests and is there a purpose that we require your aid. I should point out, however, that it has been messy work and liable to get messier still if we're ill-prepared. A single piece of gear can mean the difference between life and death. I'm not... I'll not have it uh, on my conscience that I sent an ill-equipped adventurer to an untimely demise. See to it that your arms and armor are in order. Then when we're ready, present yourself to me again. I think I did that. You ready for inspection? Good. Everything appears to be in order. Yeah. Know that not is guaranteed in this world. Fate is a fickle mistress, and after all, but our fate capable adventures like you are few and far between, and I would not have you throw your life away. I have had to bury too many comrades to brush aside cracks in their hauberks and dints in their helms. No matter what you you face, do not disregard the importance of gear. Uh, this is magic. This is not. I'm not doing magic. in action. Warren is work for an adventurer willing to uh, exterminate the coblins uh, attacking ore wagons. Coblins? Something like that. Let's get to it then, shall we? Ore wagons pass through the station every day, but not without incident. Wagons coming and going from the dispatch yard to the south must pass through a tunnel at uh, Thesh's Watch, a tunnel which some genius saw it fit to put in an ore storehouse, creating ideal conditions for a coblin nest. 
So now the order-loving beasts are taking up residence in the tunnel we dug, and we're particularly delivering meals into their doorstep. But no more. Inside the tunnel of quest, you'll find a narrow fissure where the Koblins hide. Koblin side. Uh, use the silver collectors to lure out the creatures and then slay them. By the way, there's these railroad tracks. I have never seen a train in this entire game so far. I see the tracks, never see a train. At least I don't remember one. Well done. It shouldn't be easy work to keep the tunnel free of uh, cobblins, but our wagons should be able to go unmolested for a time. Disruptions to order shipments have threatened not only the interests of um, Gina and Sons' mineral concern, but of Adal herself. One might liken these train tracks to veins that bear our life's nation's bloodline. Lifeblood. Something like that. If only we could move more, had more men like you to lend a hand. to the weapon. Hmm. Melida wishes to share with you a most interesting rumor. Ah, the altruistic adventure. I was hoping you would bump into each other. Why? Because the most fascinating piece of news recently reached my ear and I was eager to share it. May I? Rumor has it that there is a vast untapped vein of ore beneath the ruins of Sildu. But there is, but that is n not all inconceivable. Not, but that is not all. Conceivably, the concern appears to be entirely ignorant of its existence. And even as we speak, a young upstart, a self-made merchant of stone's throw of all places, is moving to claim it. The fellow's name is Weissen. He is a very, very ambitious man. Man, not only does he intend to secure exclusive excavation rights, but he, but they say his master plan is to use this new fortune to curry favor with the Sicarium. Of course, the thaumaturge is only only consider the opinions of the most wealthy when drafting the laws of the law. If you would have your voice heard, you would be prepared to pay a sultan's ransom. One voice to be inevitably heard belongs to Lord Lorito. He has long languished guild among the thaumaturges, and some claim that he devises a new law with the express intention of ruining his competitors while protecting his own interests. Suffice it to say, if Weston thinks he can compete with the likes of the syndicate, he is in for a rude awakening, but that that eventually may, may be a little way off. For the present, he is moving ahead with his plans and assembling a team to survey the site. I'm told he's at the Coffer and Coffin right now, recruiting able-bodied adventurers to escort his prospectors. Warren said you were looking for work. Mayhap you would meet Weston and volunteer for its expedition.
Come to join? Sorry, but you're too late. Some brass slaves looking for extra coin volunteered and the team are ready en route to the ruins. And look, I know it's not easy to find work these days. I'm interested and there's something else you can do for me. There are these children outside, little ones from Stone's Throw. I look after them when I have time to spare, so they've taken to following me around, even when I tell them not to. And what with overseeing the search for the vein, I barely have a chance to visit the privy in the moment much less the entertaining younglings. Can you give them these ginger cookies and convince them to go home for me? I'm playing it. I like playing with Weiston. He, he makes sure no one bullies us. Weissen's worried about us? Oh, I don't want to make him worried. I'm a good girl, so I'll go home. But Weissen always plays with us. Why won't he come out and play? Oh, a ginger cookie. I better save some for my brother. I know. I'll go home and eat it with him. Weissen's kind to us. I like him. This is for me? I want to eat it. But then again, I don't, because then I'd be gone. It'd be gone. Tell Weissen thanks and tell him I'm sorry for getting in the way. Thank you, Venture. I only wish I could do more. Stone's throw is in no place for a child. Not that my child was much happier. Never never enough food to go around. No work to, to earn it. But no shortage of contempt for the great and the good. I remember thinking things could go only better. Yet, yet now, after the calamity and everything else, for us refugees to be forced to live outside the gates like bloody beastmen is disgrace. They say with enough money you can change the laws here, so I'm going to make a fortune and do just that. I'll buy the excavation rights and start my own mining business. Then I'm going to give my fellow refugees the work they're crying for and pay them fairly. The mining companies have been profiting from our suffering for too long, but in this, their hubris, they've gone complacent, presenting us with a golden opportunity. And we will take it, adventure. We will reclaim our dignity and with it, our place within these walls. We found her. We found the vein, Weston. We must come and see. Already? Amazing. We leave it at once. You should join me, my friend. Come bear witness to the history of the making. She made some coffee before you started. Hey, spring grave robbers. Now for our duty.
It's all his balls. So in, in a vein of war in the middle of a ruined, bloodied city? Goddamn idiot. What did you think was going to happen? That you'd strike it rich and get cozy with the order while the masters of old Dal looked on? No one crosses the syndicate. syndicate. The syndicate? Ah, finally sunk in, has it? Well, look at this. Not all your friends would just again. Yeah, it seems lucky, boy. Now you have to die. You won't have to die alone. A mournful voice of creation, grant ye this humble stone a soul that it may wake to life. Who's that spouting gibberish? Show yourself. Part of the blo uh, part of the plan, bloody hells! Did Lord Rita mean to kill us too? You're strong, but are you strong enough to withstand this? It's all right. That works. That the golem could be vanquished. That man is no ordinary adventurer. Damn, seems I missed all the fun. I see you didn't need my help this time. I would compose a ballad in your honour, but I fear no words would be justice. The songstress of Uldar herself could not rival your beauty. Oh, stop it. I have oft heard it said that a blossomed beauty can move a man to love and long, but I never truly believed it until I met you two desert roses. Desert roses. Huh. I hear they attacked another caravan. I am business of suffering, bloody Amaldra. They're stirring up, do you reckon? Another raid, and I wager that caravan was carrying crystals, which was the last. If they truly mean to summon a primal, I must act quickly. Are you coming, love? We wouldn't want to keep a girl waiting, would you? Perish the thought. So tell me, where is this marvel of where in this marvel of city might you lovely ladies be staying?
this rate, grain will soon be more precious than gold. Result is uncommonly bad harvest, to be sure. And we have you to thank for them, do we not? I, the weakening of the etheric flow, must surely be linked to Dalmud's descent. Of course, to the primates. Fine mess, but we must not lose hope. Louis Swab will know what to do. We only need trust in his judgment. Surely a marvel, or surely an ingenuity, as if I could reach out and touch the ether. Time to focus. No more gallivanting about like this before. The signs are counting on you. Have faith. Just have faith. You can do this. Hmm. This is a disturbance is recent. A Sultan tree? Maybe Papashan will know something of it. Looks like they gave you quite a thrashing. Can you walk? It's me. I was too late. A uh, person of interest has already quit the scene. The general? Very well. I shall be there, or not. My colleagues have sent, went to great lengths to provide me with the means to detect etheric disturbances, but every time I find one, you seem to be in the middle of it. I'm starting to wonder if it might be might not be simpler just to follow you around. Sadly, I have business elsewhere. Tread softly, my friend. The carefully laid trap you dismantled was clearly sanctioned by Lord Loruto. I heard the blades mention him as they fled. Believe me when I tell you that he is not a man to be trifled with. The Sultana's enemies grow bolder by the day. I expect they have the support of outside forces. Thank you. If you hadn't come along, these bastards would have surely have slaughtered us all. I must speak with you further, but it isn't safe for us to linger here. Find me at the Coffer and Coffin later. Till then, stay safe. I shall accompany you, my students, men. They need protection, and I need more information. Ah, but where are my matters? I am properly introduced myself. I am Sancred, a humble scholar surveying the flow of Ether and Thanalan. It is an honor and a privilege to make your acquaintance. I hope that next we meet is under more auspicious circumstances. Farewell. Oh, wait a minute. It occurs to me that we may have... Never mind. Fare thee well.
Twelve bless you, my friend. You risked your lives to save ours. Betrayed by my own gods. Gods, I am fooled to trust those men. Lolorita owns the goddamn brass blades. I should have questioned their motives from the start. Even so, I'd hardly have pre predicted that the wealthiest man in Olda would want me dead for the heinous crime of seeking to change the law. I'm just a merchant, for God's sake. That ruthless bastard. And what of that monstrosity? Those of his own men? Beggar's belief. Well, that's it. I'm finished. If I stay in Olda any longer, I'm good as dead. My associates, my friends, gods, even the children may not be safe if I don't disappear. And you, goddammit, if Lola Rita learns of your involvement, you may be next. I'll speak with the others to make sure your part in this stays secret. Beyond that, I don't know what to su suggest. Maybe you should seek the counsel of Mistress Mamaldi. She's helped countless adventures in her time. Mayhap she knows what to do. Go quickly now, my friend, and Lola Rita spies may be watching. I'm gonna just return. While I return, I'm gonna pee, etc. <laughs> Be right back.
All right. Here we go. Going to the Adventurer's Guild. That's what I was a little hungry, so I got myself some. I made myself a sandwich. Settle down, Epsicos. You got nothing to worry about. No one seems to know you were in the ruins. My son, on the other hand, is now a pariah. About as welcome around here as a rabid wolf, poor bugger. So if I've hit to say that boy risked the wrath of the wrong man. Lord, Lord Lorito, chairman of the East Arnold Trading Company, generous contributor to the Order of Nalthal and member of the Syndicate. Didn't get where he is by leaving loose ends. That's one. Which is why he ain't above killing his own men. Hells, even if those blades knew what was coming, it's not like they would refuse to do their benefactor's bidding. Don't let this color your view of old Da, uh, as it goes. It's true that we're so. It's true that there are some some here who aren't uh, afraid to crack a few skulls if it gets them what they want. But most of us are decent folk just trying to make ends meet. You know, a lot of people would call you a damn fool for risking your life to save a murked man. But I believe you did a good thing, as it goes, and for that you have my respect. Listen. You've been through a lot lately. Why don't you rest the spell? I'll have the boys at the hourglass set, set you up with a room. My treat. Just have a word with Atpa Patapa. Otapa Otapa Patopa. Whenever you're ready, uh, you feel like staying. Hidden rooms are now available. When you got your appetite for adventuring back, consider taking a guild leave or two. There's a lot of requests from locals looking to hire adventurers for various jobs. It's a good way for you to earn yourself some extra guild. Eustis can tell you more about how the system works. So go and speak with him if you're interested. Now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests and duties currently available in your area. Recommendations list can be opened from under duty in the main menu and will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure of what to do, this tool makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. Although I have to beg to differ because I've gotten recommendations where I'm on one class, but it is thinking about a higher level class awkward all right before i take this quest it is time since i'm level 10 do my next job quest.
Yo, Master Heyman, uh, wishes you to build upon your knowledge of combinations. Ah, there you are, Ascus. I see you've been training hard as ever. Ah, your eyes are starting to have the sharpness of a predator about them. Last time you learned the basics of combinations. Today I would have you build on that knowledge. I'll set up five wooden dummies outside the guild along the merchant strip. And by way of warm-up, I want you to deal as a good so solid boot shine combo. Oh, and don't mind the townsfolk who gather to watch. You know, this really isn't teaching me about combos. It's just having me use my skill that I've had since the beginning over and over and over again. So I'm wondering W is filter of wrath. Good. Now we can move on to your next lesson. When you first came to us, I taught you that combinations make a pugilist. What you need to know next is that that not any hot pot of strikes makes a combination. There's an order to things, a natural flow from one technique to another. Today, I would have you practice the most elementary combinations in your pugilist art. It goes like this. Lead in with a swift boot strike combo. Make your, off, your flow off balance with a two strike. And bring it home with a blistering snap punch. With practice, combinations such as this will become such good in nature. They must, must if you expect to become a, an accomplished pugilist. Now, you'll need some opponents to practice on. The quern that infests the rat's nest in central Thanalan ought to serve. Hit them with snap punch three times and we'll call it the lesson well learned. Just thought of something. This is not a quest. This is just uh, getting access to the Chocobo Porter.
This is basically flight paths. Ah, you've already mastered the snap punch combination. Crikey, Eskis. You're a natural at it, just like I was. Not to brag, but it happened to be a vegetable stolen with flying fists when the mood strikes me. I'd treat you to a demonstration here now, except... I am liable to tear down the entire guild in the process. Master Heyman has a... Uh, a pension for galing us with tales of his exploits, but they never amount to a demonstration. His favorite is his victory over the fearsome marauder White Axe, whom he felled with combinations so so swift and seamless they say he couldn't see his stands. Or so the legend goes. Ah, ha, ha. that one never gets old. Our dearest master's hum humility aside, our progress is your progress is truly astounding, as it goes. If I don't keep on my toes, you'd like to surpass me in a matter of moons. Just between you and me, uh, Chuchuko's uh, been in a slump of late. And it all began when her closest friend and guildmate suddenly up and disappeared. Ru Kuta's the lad's name, and he and Chuchuto is. Uh, Joined the guild together. The two of them were born, were born to refugees and were orphaned in the calamity. Long after I was made, not long after I was made guildmaster, I found them on the street, starved and near to death. I did what any decent would. I took them in and clothed and fed them. When they were strong again, they said they wanted to become pugilists like me, so I trained them, them as well. Since then, we've been best friends and rivals, uh, both. One helping to raise the other up. Would that they knew what's become of Rukuta. Rukuta. Well, we're talking about you, Eskis. You're proving yourself a worthy member of the guild, training hard and learning fast. To recognize your efforts, I grant you the you to join other guilds. Of course, before you can take up another discipline, you need to achieve permission from the relevant guildmaster. If combat's your calling, you might seek out the gladiators or thaumaturges. But if you prefer an alternate to cracking skulls, Ulda is also famous for its weavers, goldsmiths, alchemists, and miners. As your guildmaster, though, I'd be it pleased me most if you placed our art above others. But whatever you choose to do, know that I wish you the best. So this basically is the point where I can actually uh, now have access to the armory system. Quests to unlock the other classes can be taken by speaking to the receptionist of the corresponding guild. There m exist many disciplines in in Eorzea that uh, adventurers can take up. For the most rewarding experience, I would recommend that you first focus on mastering your current class.
Well, see, now I can actually go and technically I could grab every one of these. All of these. Every single one on this one character. I am not. I don't like that action. That's better. So we'll probably need better gear for everything else, but whatever. Anyways, back to the uh, main story quest. Main scenario quest. The MSQ, as it's been been referred to. Well, the the quicksand is a uh, word of work for a willing adventurer. Look what the Coriol dragged in. Good to see you. Good to see you, Essegos. I'd ask what brings you, but I reckon you both know the answer to that already. Well, have I ever let you down before? Wait, don't answer that. So it happens I know a fellow by the name of Danvenen who needs a hand. He's a merchant by trade, selling precious stones to those in Olda with the means to buy them. He asks that you send any looking for work his way. You can find him over in Horizon if you if you fancy. That's in Western Thamelin, mind you. Just cross the bridge north of Scorpion Crossing. The road will take you there. Knowing the circles he deals in, might be he'll have some talk of the royal family that is, that'll interest you as well. And why not make use of the Chocobo Porter for, for your journey to Horizon? If you use the guild for it, that's it. You'll find the Chocobo City was just across the way from my quicksand. Find Mimigan. He'll set you straight. Well, off you go then. I haven't got all day to you. be holding your bloody hand. Horizon. Yeah, some of the hunting log is out here. First things first, the tune to the eighth right. That's a ghost, I presume. Well, Mamodi said to, do, to expect you, and so I have. Welcome to Horizon. Ours is a trading settlement that seeds goods in from the port of Vester Bay to the west and trade we do. Nary a day goes by that horizon isn't bustling with some manner of merchants and officials. They keep us running from about busy, they do. Enough so that I wish I had chocobo legs in case place of my own. That's why I asked Momodi to send me any souls looking for work. 
12 know there's plenty of it to be done around here. Speak to me again when you're ready to make yourself of some use. Then it in would like that it in would like you to deliver a message to Copper Bell Mines. So it happens I have a situation that must be resolved post haste, and I do mean post haste. I'm plumb out a premium product and my latest order has yet to arrive. If I keep my customers waiting any longer, this will irre irrevocably damage my reputation. What's worse, I paid my man in advance for his services, despite his assurances that it would be a simple affair. I've heard nothing since he departed for Coffee Bell Mountains days ago. Find drunken stag and give. <laughs> that, was, that was your problem. <laughs> His name is Drunken Stag. <laughs> and give him this notice. I cannot afford any further delay. Which way am I going? This way. What do you want? Uh, Denadin's product? You can send all the notices he likes, but it won't change a thing. The concern is closed the mines due to some in incident in the depths. It's a goddamn shame, too. Lost a, a decent haul just over yonder during all the chaos. Urban Stag needs someone to retrieve the raw nessus site he dropped outside the mine. The product you heard then and then going on about it is a gemstone known as nessus site. I managed to dig up a goodly amount just before the mines were closed off, actually. Packed it up and hauled it out, even. But then them 12 goddamn, 12 damned uh, coblins came, came along. Not like any coblins I've seen before. Hungry only for the good rocks. They had eyes of eyes for my gemstones, so I had no choice but to oblige. Stone torches had their hand, hands full, evacuating the mine, so they ignored the beast. Even now, they're only concerned with the keeping people out. Please, friend, if you, you're willing to face the coblins, would you bring me my nash slate?
I'm out of here. We just need two of them. Yay. I, mean, I totally ran past the guy I was supposed to actually drop these off with. I got distracted. How did you fare, friend? Did you find the Nash site? Beautiful, isn't it? Rarer than any gemstones, more expensive than most. They say the green is the same as the eyes of Nasha Ul Nasha, who once ruled as the Sultana. They should save Denadin from his troubles. If there's nothing left, there's far less here than I, than what I found. I reckon those goblins and made a meal of stuff. Plenty waste. Or good state wishes to repay your kindness with some useful information. You'd like to change the chance to make some money, right? Then know that just how I can repay you for your kindness. A swarm of sun midges have been harassing travelers along the road, uh, connecting horizon to here. Here, it's gotten so bad that the brass blades have been starting paying folks to keep the roads clear. If you find it hard to believe that swarms of tiny midges can be so troublesome, then you better... You've never seen a chocobo driven into a frenzy by one. There have already been some terrible accidents. Do your part and slay a few swarms. After that, let uh, Fulfulpa know he'll reward you for your trouble and maybe even offer you more work. I killed some of those just earlier. Well, fooey. Yeah, yeah. Off we go.
Kufu Lupa. That's it. Greetings and salutations, adventurer. To what do I owe this? What, you've slain how many uh, swarms of summages? You have my sincerest thanks. The brass blades have been struggling to keep them in check, so your assistance is greatly appreciated. Will you be uh, heading to her staying in Horizon Long? If so, there is much more. There's much and more you can do to help. Last letter to Lost Hope. Fufulupa uh, wants you to track down a missing courier. Pray allow me to enlist your aid, brave adventure. I would have you as ascertain the whereabouts of a missive I sent to Lost Hope the other day. And Captain Le Leofric has stationed there. Ever since he was transferred, we've exchanged letters, but never before has it taken this long to receive a reply. And so I fear that the courier may have met with some misfortune. And she must have made it made it to Central Thamelin or the brass blades that patrol the roads between here and Scorpion Crossing would have would have seen something. But if she made it as far as Blackbrush Station, she would have uh, she would have surely delivered the letter by now. Lost Hope is practically on its doorstep. I suggest you focus your search on the road to Blackbrush Station, Central Thanalyn. With, with luck, you will find her quickly. I'm going to just go this way. I need to... Cross the river. Man, I can't wait to get my mount. <laughs> I mean, technically, I have mounts. Huh? A letter? Hi. I've got uh, Fufu Lupa's missive right here. It won't be delivering anytime soon, though. Got to tend to my burns injured first leg first. Even the most minor of cuts can fester if ignored. Fufu Lupa sent you, right? It's a pressing matter. Why don't you take it the rest of the way? Lost Hopes just past the Blackbrush Station to the northeast. Look for the tents by the by the river.
No, oh, oh, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Just passing through, or will you be staying a while? Fufulupa sent you all this way because of the late letter? The boy is still far too earnest. Despite my demotion, he continues to call me captain. I suspect he has no idea what it means to be transferred to Lost Hope, either. The brass blades don't give a queerns like ass about this settlement. No one in Old Dar does. All here have been forsaken been forsaken adventurers. The refugees, the protectors, and you will be too if you seem associated with us. Thank you for the letter. Now, for your own good, leave. The Elfric has a request for an adventurer looking to do some good. I thought I told you to get out of here. What, looking for a chance to do some good? I guess they can't force you to leave. Damn stubborn adventurers, a lot of you. Fine then, listen well. A band of outlaws have taken up residence in the Quirvin Bents in the ridge to the south. Their leader has bestowed himself the heir of Ilan Quirovan, the syndicate member who died in the calamity. The Baron and his cronies are not more than a pack of jackals. They prey on the people of lost hope, robbing them of what little they have. I myself cannot act without endangering the refugees, as they know my face and will retaliate against lost hope. You, however, have not known for the bandits or the allies. If you wish to help, then deal with the Baron. Actually, I think I can go up this way. Maybe, I think. Maybe not. The answer is no. You know, when you, you're so used to moving around on a mount, which is kind of weird. Or at least annoying. Oh. Yeah, I think I have to come over here and come up this way. Well, extra XP, I suppose.
So it's just done. Good. I hope the rich wretch died screaming. The dog is more prosperous than ever, some say. This may be true for the syndicate, but none of that wealth has trickled down to the small folk. It is all a moment of farce. One day I refuse to play a part and play my part, and so it is made to leave the stage. I my time has passed. Brass blades of the rose must look to others for guidance. Eric would like you to deliver an item to Horizon. As you may have noticed, I'm in no shape to leave Lost Hope right now, so in my stead, I'd like you to return to Horizon and give this dagger to Fufu Lupa. Though it's an old ornamental dagger, it belongs with the brass blades of the rose. I, I should have given it to the boy before I came here. Ah, Elgus, I received word from Captain Leofric the other day. Thank you for delivering the letter to me. What? Why do you have that dagger? Only a captain of the Brass Blade of the Rose is permitted to possess it. Captain Leofric says I am to have it? There must be some mistake. He couldn't possibly mean to tell me that. No, no, of course not. I am not worthy to wield it. Nevertheless, I shall respect the captain's wishes and take the dagger into safekeeping until he comes to reclaim it. Well, not exactly what it was like meant to be. Fufulupa and needs you to assist his fellow brass blades. Brass blades of the roads have need of your assistance once more, as it goes. Thaumaturges from the associate Suri has presently surveyed the footfalls uh, for ancient relics. As the area is rife with wild beasts, the Horizon garrison has been charged with their security. But Captain Baldwin, Baldwin has sent only a handful of brass blades. Despite his assurances of the contrary, such a small unit cannot possibly be sufficient to protect our patrons. I would have you offer our assistance to our comrades. Play travel to the footfalls and speak to Tutaruna. Bleeding Venture come to help. I ain't heard nothing from Captain Baldwin about this. He said trusted men only. Any road, we got hit this under control. Besides, this operation ain't got nothing to do with Fulupa. Boy's got to stick up his arse for the size of his sabotender. It is no wondering the captain told him to stay at Horizon. Nunu Zufu. Zofu wants you to deliver a message to Crescent Cove. Hey, adventurer, mind running a message to Crescent Cove for us? Captain Baldwin uh, planning some festivities for the Thaumatur to see, and he wants them treated to the finest food and drink. Nothing but the best for our distinguished guests, eh? Head west and south to the village and tell Rafe that he's to deliver a bounty of fresh fish to the horizon for the feast. We are down there. All right, gotta pay the bills.
fresh fish from the Captain Baldwin? Of course, of course, we will do our best, sir. Fortunately, there is such a poor catch in the recent days on account of the rough seas. More boats should be returning soon, but I cannot promise that their catch will please. But don't worry, sir, the captain will have his fish. I swear it. Well, they may have stumbled on a secret. You're an adventurer, you know what? I know this is sudden, but I have no one else to turn to. Last night, a gang of bandits from the Carrion Mance were on their, were in their cups, and I overheard them discussing plans. It seems that they have come to collect gemstones stolen from Copper Bell Mines. Nashicite, I think I heard one say. They were to meet with the co-conspirator soon at the footfalls. What? What did you say, Fufu Lupa? Illicit exchanges of shadowy dealings? The brass plays cannot abide such maleficence. Forgive my eavesdropping, Eskos. I came to Crescent Cove merely to thank you in person. I've never imagined I'd uncover a criminal conspiracy right outside Horizon Gates. We must act quickly if we're going to apprehend these thieves. I will notify Captain Baldwin at once. No, wait, you mustn't. Oh, gods. You must stop him before it's too late. Captain Baldwin himself is working with the bandits. Ooh. It's a duty. Captain Baldwin, sir, I've discovered something shocking, something horrible. Someone has been stealing gemstones from the Copper Bell Mines and... Wait, those gauntlets, those boots. Why, you're one of the Quarian men. Quivering men. Sir, that man is a thief and a scoundrel. And what of it? His going's good, and that's what counts. What? Captain Baldwin, you're working with these men? It cannot be. I told you to stay at Horizon, Fufulupa. It didn't have to be like this. They'll get their Nash sight. I've got... I'd get my gill, and no one would be the wiser. But, sir, what if your crimes are uncovered? What if Lord Lord Rita finds out? Goddamn fool, don't you see? I'm acting under the authority of Lord Lord Rita himself. No, no, that can't be true. Why do you think people would join the brass, brass blades, Fufu Lupa? To serve and protect? Ha! <laughs> and not the bloody flames here. We do this for the coin. You there, adventurer. Do you remember me? Well, I remember you. I am Sir Baron Von Quirin. I am Sir Baron Von Quirin, the fourth Esquire. You killed my brother. Now I'm going to return the favor.
It's enough, Baldwin. Your partner is dead and your plans are undone. You have no reason left to fight. Stay out of this, Leofric. I don't take orders from you. I may have spared your old life before, but if you interfere, I will not show you mercy. And what mercy will you show me? Will he show you, I wonder? Who you who have done so much in another man's name? What are you blathering about? Every fisherman in Crescent Cove knew about your meeting, you arrogant fool. Caverns men couldn't keep their mouths shut. Imagine Lord Lodorita's surprise when he learned that a rank and file brass blade was using his name to advance a personal agenda. He knows, seven hells, but I'm a captain. He wouldn't. I was once a captain, too, remember? And we both know what happened to me. Well fought, boy. You've done the brass blades of the rose proud. Captain Learfic, Captain Baldwin, he he said that Lord Lorito Lord Lorito wouldn't waste his time in a small scale smuggling operation. This is all Baldwin's doing. What else did he say? That all of our brethren were so, are no better, that each and every one cares about naught but coin? Ha! Make excuses to justify his schemes. Aye, we've no shortage of greedy sods. Some who will probably sell their own mothers into slavery if the price was right. But there are men like you, Fufulupa. Men good and true, whom the small folk respect. Which is why I give you the dagger. The brass blades of the robes need a leader with honor. And you're the most honorable man I know. Captain... Thank you for all your help, Essegas. The captain and I will escort Captain Baldwin back to Horizon. Pray visit me in town when you ne when next you return. Yeah, another job quest, or class quest, I should say. I don't have a job yet. Hold on a second. There's... Hi, right, here we go. I think that's what I want. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Welcome back, Essegos. So much has happened. Captain um, Baldwin has been arrested and stripped of rank, which means the Brass Blades of the World Rose no longer has a captain. Until a new one is designated, I've been ordered to act as a serving captain of the Horizon Garrison. Though doubtless if this is only a temporary arrangement, I will do my utmost to represent my brethren and protect the people of Horizon. Thank you, Astrogos, for your service in the, to the Sultanate. You, you are a true hero. Fufu Lupa would entrust you with a matter of grave import. I salute you, honored friend. As acting captain, I should have much oblig obliged if you would grant me a personal request. In our efforts to ascertain the full extent of the former captain's corruption, we have been poring over his personal correspondence. Our search unearthed a sealed letter addressed to a man named Oini. Oini? 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 I don't know. But he is one of the Sultan's sworn elite. I can think of no reason why he would have any de dealings with Baldwin. We now know that the former captain was consorting with the coalition of criminals. Could it be that Owen was too? This letter may serve as evidence to his 
conclusion, but I dare not tamper with it myself. But given the events of recent days, I knew not whom to trust with this information until now. I have chosen you, as the ghost. Pray bear the letter to you, Mistress Mamodi, at the quicksand and relate the circumstances of its discovery. Not only is she a staunch supporter of the Sultana, but she is so well acquainted with the Sultan Sworn. She will know how best to proceed. All right. I'm going to... No, I'm just going to return. Just realized I got a free teleport. Correction, I'm going to go back. Before I do this next part, I'm going to do the class quest. So I realized here here a little bit ago, there's a section here which I think has like, if you go to Limsa and Lamenza, it's a different sort of thing. And and because this is very Eldar specific. So Limsa and Lamenza and Gridania are the other two. I may have to hop on some of the other characters to at least get through that part to see what that full thing is. I'm going to keep going on here until I get my chocobo. I think it might be a good place to, for it. For something that seems like it would have... We take that initial starter zone stuff and move on. So, Ah, there you are, as, as a ghost. I hope you are more, more prepared for a lesson. Come prepared for a lesson today. Today, I want you to go and fight the toxic toads that nest at the unholy hair. Here, make no mistake, uh, son. These toads are are huge, which means they are huge, have huge guts. But that's beside the point. The point is that you'll need to use your head to overcome them. Uh, thanks to our immerse, their immersion immense girth these toads hit hard uh fortunately they they tend to hit wild as well so bide your time and wait for an opening and then that that opening shows thwack rip and tear through their foe with your fists as proof that you've defeated the toads and what you bring back five of their legs uh chuchuto um and i will be waiting for you at the black brush station your lesson continues there And a board.
Not bad. So did you bring the toad legs? Ah, this is the stuff, all right. Now I just need some butter, a slice of uh, some lemon, and a pinch of um, aster. Uh, what I meant to say was we, we've we done well to defeat the toxic toads. Uh, as it goes, for the best next part of your lesson, you will be putting your endurance to the test. It's... <gasps> the talk was true. Heyman Holyfist is really here. <laughs> ha ha! I can take a nary a step outside the gate while being flocked by, flocked by his fans. Such is the price of fame. Please, sir, have a grave need for your legendary skills. Somnus is being smuggled through, through Blackbrush Station. I reported this to the brass blades and the stone torches asked them to put an end to it, but they both turned a blind eye. Somnus has mind-warping substance made with, from dream flowers. Those who overindulge is said to end into an eternal slumber. Dear friends suffer from such a fate. That's why I want to put an end to the smuggling. But I'm also just an ordinary person. There's precious little I can do. Ha-ha! You have done enough to bring word to me, friend. As surely a haven holy fist is my name, I'll see the smuggler scum thrown in the dungeon before the bell is through. God bless you, sir. You truly are a hero to us all. Ha ha. Slight change of plans, I suppose. It's in place of the endurances, we're going to find and apprehend the smugglers. But first, we must gather information. You two find out what you can from the people of Blackbrush Station. Report back once you've learned something. Searching for some smugglers, you say? Word is that they're associated with the Alacran. The Alacran. The a coalition of cold-blooded criminals. But beware, they always act in alliance. There's an abandoned clearing layer a short distance west of the coffer and co coffin. Uh, decent folks tend to give that place a wide berth. Ideal for a smuggling operation, would you say? It appears a silver-haired lullafell has been skulking around the station recently. He was headed west, bearing a suspicious burden. The Alacran. Alacran. The Alacran. I don't know. They likely hide out in a silver-haired lullafell. I don't like the sound of this. Not one bit. Not, not as like the smugglers operate out of the abandoned crib in there. West of the co coffer and coffin will lie in wait for them there.
duty calls. Oh, shit. Yeah, level seven. Thor's balls. That that's Gah, you we've really outdone ourselves this time. Master Wegfall is bound to be pleased. Save the talk, we have crates to move. Rukuta It is you, isn't it? Jututo and Master, it's been a while. You vanish from the guild with nary a word, and we find you here smuggling somnus with these villains? What is the meaning of this? Rurukuta, my boy, I didn't teach you how to f how to fight so you become a pox on si society. My student or no, you must be held accountable. Jututo, Essegos, uh, your lesson begins. Apprehend the smugglers. You lot, take care of these metal layers. Well, it's just a 
you know who I am, then you know what's good for you. Come quietly in, there will be, or there will be trouble. Holy fist, don't make me laugh. You're being fooled, all of you. Who's fooling who? What in the world are you talking about? It was a dark night several moons ago. I was out in the wilds, training alone. From a distance, I caught sight of Master leaving the tavern and turning into, for the city. Thinking to accompany back, I followed on his heel and was fell out when I saw this. Huh. You would challenge the Holy Fist? You have fighting spirit, I grant you, but you, you do well to know your limits. M Master? You're in my every move. It's no ordinary marmot. Master! All I wanted was to be surrounded by scantily clad maidens when my time came. The gods can be cruel. Master, what is the meaning of this? Explain yourself. Now that you've seen it with your own eyes, Master is beaten by a marmot. A common bleeding marmot. You remind us how strong he was at every turn, but he was lying through his teeth. Gah, I can scarce believe my eyes. Wait till Master Wegfar learns of this. Forgive me. Uh, chew, chew, chew. <laughs> Forgive me, chew. As it goes. I didn't mean to deceive anyone, least of all my students. Even Holy Fist conquered every foe that stood before him, but he couldn't conquer old age. My strengths, my reflexes, my endurance, they've all left me. There's nothing here but a decrepit old man. I'll be alone for a while. I'll make my way back to the guild. From now on, you'll do as, as Chu bids you, as it goes. I don't need to go anywhere. It's right outside. I've been doing some thinking, Esikos. While it is true that Master has been deceiving us, he meant us no harm. Besides, I owe my life. Has he not taken me in those years ago? I would have died in some ditch. I could never bring myself to hate him. Even if he was an ordinary old man, I would still respect him. Alas, with the truth of his co condition revealed, Master Haman has lost his sense of purpose, his will to teach. I cannot bear to see him like this. I want him to regain his confidence. So for this, he needs to regain his former strength. Listen, Essegos. Master ever said that you remind him of his younger self. Where you continue to show rapid improvement, I dare to hope that it would kindle his fighting spirit. To this end, I will teach you a new technique, one which Master Heyman used to great effect in his prize fighting days. Fists of Earth, it's called. And with it, you can shore up your defenses to be as unwieldy as the earth itself. Make this technique your own, Essigos, and strive to grow stronger still. When next Master Heyman beholds you, he'll be surely to be moved to action. The, hmm, which one should I take? I think it was just kind of short.
I'm a level 16. Ah, Essegos, it's been too long. Denadin uh, tells me you've been keeping busy in Horizon. I want you to know I'm grateful for everything you've done for the people of Volda. Even though we've seen the seedier side of our city, that's a lot of S's, we continue to help our, your fellow man. Believe me, the folk around here love you for it. Hmm, what is it? You look like you've got something to say. So that's what this is about. Fufulupa's thinking oini, a wine, I'm just going to say a wine, might have been in league with Baldwin. And that's what this letter or could be proof of something shady. Well, you needn't worry. Owen, I'm just going to say Owen, I bet, I bet that's what it is. Owen's as loyal as salt and sworn as I ever known. I haven't the foggiest what it, haven't the foggiest what this says, but wait a minute. Wasn't Owen the one who Oh hells, I got a bad feeling about this. Listen, Essos. Essegos. I think I know what this is all about, but I need you to swear to keep it quiet. If you'd rather wash your hands of this business, I won't hold it against you. But if you're determined to see it through to the bitter end, say the word and I'll explain. I count on your discretion, Essegos. If so, then listen closely. The outside world believes Ulda is a sultanate, ruled by Sultana Nanamo Ulnamo. Truth is, though, it's the six wealthiest citizens that hold the most sway, the syndicate. Be that as it may, the Sultana still got the support of the people. But she still struggled to keep even that if a certain incident becomes public knowledge. It pains me to say it. But her grace's crown, the symbol of the royal dignity, dynasty, has been stolen. And Owen, Owens, the sultans were in charge with the guarding it that night. I bet anything this letter was written by the bastards who made off with the crown. But it can't be a coincidence that a man who know, we know to have been fraternizing with thieves had a letter for Owen, of all people, at this of all times. You need to take this to the man himself, Eskos. Tell him a Modi sent you and that it concerns a lost heirloom. If it looks as though the fellow needs help, I want you to lend it to him. The future of our fair city may depend on it. Oh, there you go. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, Jesus, I'm trying to click on the quest, not people. I need to go. 
Oh, alchemist skill. Part of the swollen lies beyond. State your business. Pardon? Did you say a lost heirloom? Ahem. <clears throat> Proceed. A well, matter, Venture. What brings you... Matter. Very well. Let's see it. Have you read this, Avenger? I see, but you have some inkling as to its contents, I think. Mistress Mamodi has doubtless explained to you the significance of the crown and that its loss could mean to her grace, the Sultana. <sighs> this theft shames the Sultan's throne and me most of all. The blame is mine, you see. I grew lax in my duties and in a moment of carelessness, well, I will do no good to recount the tale now. Since the hour of the theft, we've been searching frantically for any signs, any whispers as to the whereabouts of the crown. We have found nothing. The identity of the thieves and their motives seemed fa fated to remain a mystery until you arrived bearing this crimson note. In it, the criminal state their price for the return of the, Her Grace's crown, and though it pains me to say it, I fear of no choice but to acquiesce to their demands. Too much is at stake to do otherwise. The crown symbolizes Her Grace's birthright and identifies her as the custodian of the Ur legacy. It must be recovered. I will travel to the unholy heir and pay them their ransom. Though I am not foolish enough to meet with those men alone, as they stipulate, I dare not bring a host of my comrades, lest the thieves take fright. Friend, would you consent to be present for the exchange? Mr. Smimodi has always spoken of you in the most glowing terms. I would never yet have reason to question her judgment. On behalf of all those still loyal to the Sultana, I beseech you, help us in our hour of need. Teleportation's expenses should be fine. I need to go this way. Go where I pummeled those toads. This is where the duty begins. I don't know why it has a wooden bar, but whatever. I've come as a grave, now show me the crown. Aye, you'll have your precious crown once we have been duly compensated. Do you think me fool? What insurances have I that you have honored your part of the agreement? Oh, now, Owen, you are the least trustworthy man here. Not only was the crown stolen on your watch, but it looks to me as if you violated the terms of our exchange. Did you not say that we were to come alone? 
And given that you are not alone, that to guarantee have we that there is a company of archers surrounding us even as we speak, ready to feather me and their men the moment that they take, catch a glimpse of the crown. You have made a mock of our trust. The deal is off. Wait, here's your payment, as promised. Right, it's the real thing. Oh, a thousand thanks to you, boy. We succeeded those scores of thieves and failed. Now, at long last, we have it. The power to create an army of undying soldiers. The traitors spurn. No, no, it can't be. What have I done? Surely you must have wondered what it was that you, that you were handing over. What it was that seemed as valuable to us as the crown seemed to you. Or did you assume you were feeling charitable? Ah, but you must feel terrible, knowing that you have brought us the doom of Silda. And Sildi. Whatever it is. Worry not, boy. We grunt you a quick death and spare you further ignominy. There's too many. Essigos, run. But you still can. I will do my duty. It's your duty to serve the Sultana, lad, and you'll be doing it for a good while yet. Sultan Swan, put these thieves to the sword and secure the crown. Sultan Swan, ah, no matter, kill them all. Master Papashan, but why? How? 
The general saw, saw you sneak into the vault, Owen. He suspected something was afoot and ordered us to keep an eye on you. The flame general, he ordered you to look after me. Master Papashan, more of them to the north. After them, Sultan Swan. They have, th you have the crown. This lot sought only to delay us. Let us speak again back in the city. The source of his strength becomes clear. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. Mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command that I may smite my enemies. No, very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. Uh, that the wisdom of the paragon should be brought low by mere mortals. Paragons? This is indeed a disturbing revelation. We have long suspected the involvement of the bringers of chaos, Asians, to give them their true names. But we could not be sure they were responsible for recent disturbances until now, as if the Sultanate needed any more enemies. Hmm. Have we Shaleans Shil uh, crossed paths with the Asians before? Well, we've certainly... Wait, I don't recall telling you about my homeland. Oh yes, that's right. You're one of the gifted. You know, this marks the third time I've found you in the midst of trouble. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a lodestone for it. Anyway, I'm glad I started following you around. 
Who knows what grand conspiracy you have stumbled upon next? I jest, I jest. Had I truly been watching your every move, I would have taken so long to inter- I wouldn't have taken so long to intervene in your latest altercation. But all's well that ends well. Our masked friend is no more, and while I very much doubt we've seen the last of his kind, his demise will likely grant us to at least some respite. And on that note, I must away. Until next time, Essegos. <sighs> oh, that's right. Back by the Weaver's Guild. No, it's the Alchemist Guild that's up there. I'm just like teleporting around the entire uh, city out of no reasons. Alchemist, there we are. It's the Weaver and the Miners that are next to each other. It is a surprise you to see me dress so as a ghost. I was once a sultan's one, you know, though it's been fifteen years since I put down my sword and took up the role of station master. It is a capacity of which I am no less proud to serve. This might you doubt. Whenever her grace ventures outside the gates, I have the honor of protecting her person. Never before had I seen her so despondent as when news of the crown's theft reached her ears. But thanks to your valiant efforts, she has returned to a form of vibrant self. She, uh, you have the gratitude of every sultan swan as a ghost.
Um, Owen would like to speak to you regarding the uh, Sultana's invitation. By the twelve, Essigos. For an adventurer to receive a personal invitation for her grace is unprecedented. Seats at these banquets are offered only to the most distinguished individuals, be dining with some most influential people in Uldar. There are, of course, certain protocols that must be observed. And I am no authority of them. Fear not, however. Mistress Mamori has uh, taken has long been responsible for familiarizing foreign guests with our customers. Pray return to the quicksand and speak with her. She will tell you all you need need to know. Thanks for your kill. All right, quick, quick, quick pee and beverage break. A lot of this is drying out my mouth just because of how much I'm reading. That's the, the, kind of the downside to, to doing this is I'd like to talk to people and let read it for them so that people could hear it. But anyways, I'll be right back really quick. We only don't have much longer. Be right back. All right, Let's see how much of this next step we can do. Welcome back, Hesagos, and congratulations on your invite to the big soiree. To be honest, I never imagined it would be I'd be explaining these procedures to you. It's usually only foreign dignitaries who get to hear me prattle on about, on about royal traditions. Any road, I know that you're a busy man, so I'll keep it short and sweet. In accordance with ancient custom, all guests of your banquet are required to wear a pair of ceremonial earrings made specifically for the occasion. They're meant to symbolize. Actually, forgot about, forget about that. It's meant to be the, sh this is meant to be the short version. <laughs> Being of a design unique for the occasion, the earrings serve as a security measure. Salt and Swarm won't let you near the hall without them. Your set will be be ready and waiting for you at the Goldsmith Guild. Miss, Mr. Serendipity is expecting you, so you'll want to head down there now. Once you've got them, bring them back here and we'll continue.
gold smooth gill. Greetings. Is there something I can help you with? Ah, Essigos, your earrings are right here. I crafted them myself. I'll make you I'll have you know, I think you'll be very pleased. In case Mrs. M Mistress Mamodi didn't warn you, the box is locked. I am not permitted to give you the key. It's a final safeguard, you see. Only designated individuals are authorized to distribute the earrings to guests. In this instance, the person in question is nothing that none other than Mistress Mamodi. So you will need to ask her to open the box on your behalf. Pardon the inconvenience, but the Sultan's warned take her grace safely, safety very seriously. No, I have no, I don't. Picked up your earrings yet, as it goes? Let me just... <gasps> well, now, look at the Guildmaster outdid herself with this pair. You best take good care of these earrings if you felt they felt into the wrong hands. Gods only know what might happen. Now then, I hope you're you feeling sociable, as it goes, because you're about to hobnob with all of us elite. Let me know when you're ready to head to the banquet. Mamoni wants you to see you off to the banquet. This is it, Essigos, your big debut in old uh, high society. The banquet's been held in the fragrant, fragrant chamber. Head over to the Royal Promenade and Bartholomew will show you in. Oh, but be sure to put in your earrings first, where he'll send you packing. Right, well, I reckon that there's that's everything. Try not to let all the pomp and ceremony get to you. Just be yourself and you'll be fine. Banquet hosted by a great so Sultana is due to begin shortly. Attendance is by information only. Please make way for arriving guests. We are honored to receive you, my lord. Please proceed inside. Now, cinematics. Papa Sean.
that I should live to behold Bahamut once more. Magnificent. The aeons of imprisonment has made him even hung has only made him hungrier. I am aware of them. Pay them no mind. They're powerless to act. It has begun. Soon the planet will regain its true form. How are you feeling, Nessicus? They said you fainted in the middle of one of the general stories. I, I have you carried back to the hourglass. I reckon you made quite an impression on a fellow guest, though probably not the sort you intended. You sure you're getting enough rest, Nessicus? The life of an adventure can be pretty taxing. Any road, I'm glad to see you back to normal. No offense, but looking after you is getting a little bit tiresome. Oh, for, before I forget, the general left a message for you. He said that you're feeling up to it. You should come and see him at the Hall of Flames. Probably wants to finish the story he was telling you when you fell asleep. This is a good stopping place. We've got a little bit more here. I'm really not sure how far to go before it's like we've hit the point where like the three intro storylines uh, but connect. Uh, I think I have an idea of a good point to do that. And then I'm going to actually probably create just create a new character. Uh, like a marauder, something that goes to Libsa. And then I'm going to, I do have, I think I already have a character or two that's already, that's not going to Libsa. That's going to Gridania. And we can run through those. And then once we have that, we'll come back to Essegos here and he will continue the main story quest. Uh, but I kind of want to show these intro story quests first uh, to it. But that will be it for today. We'll, we'll, I'll be back tomorrow with some more of Essegos. And then we'll see about uh, creating or switching to. I got to double check my my other characters. Um, actually, let's, let's, let me actually double check right now. I just need to see what their primary class is. Yeah, okay. I'm actually gonna remove this one. He's gonna. I'm gonna actually switch this one over to to be a, a marauder. This is one of those things where it's like, are you sure? I'm just gonna recreate him, <laughs> but I'm gonna change his base class and we'll we'll start him over again. Um. But I'm going to just get them so they are actually, no, probably be a slightly different intro to it. Um, but Aaron Winsmall here, uh, we can say as close as brother, I suppose, uh, is a conjurer. Oh, that I do, do have this, this, uh, uh, your Lancer, but we'll see. But that'll be, uh, tomorrow. And I'll be working on, on as as my, my like main character and stuff. I think he's quite handsome. Yeah. 
like this after he saves in two months. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow for more Final Fantasy.